Hey everyone, I've got a pretty weird video today, so let me tell you what I'm going to do and you can decide how or if you want to watch it based on the things I'm doing. I'm going to start by assembling this American Girl display case built or designed, as you can see, by a company called The Brick Case. And after that, I'll segue into giving a quick update on a couple of dolls I showed in the last video, a sort of last final form for them. And since I don't think this is going to take that long, I'll show Brick Case makes two different sizes of American Girl display cases. And the other one is for up to six dolls or to make a scene. This is the individual doll one. And I'll show, because the last time I showed the bigger display case, which is right over there, that's why I'm pointing, um, there was a lot of glare in the room because it was my doll tour, uh, my doll room tour video. So this time I'll turn off all those glaring lights and just show the case itself. So, um, if anyone's still here, <laughs> uh, let me start by unboxing this individual display case. And I'm going to, I'm putting Tiana in it. That's why I ordered it because, you know, she's like a special doll in my collection. She's custom and she's a, a mashup of Claudia and Tiana. So let me get her out of the way so I don't make her dirty from this box that's beside me. And to anyone wondering about or if you're curious about the box, I'm going to put a link to this size and the bigger size in the description. But let me warn you that they are very expensive. And if you're not in America, the shipping is even more expensive. So the, the individual size box, which is right here, is 188 USD. But if you're shipping within America, I had it shipped to a UPS in Buffalo, New York, like I do for a lot of my a lot of things that are either expensive to ship to Canada or if they don't ship here at all. And the shipping was free and I didn't pay tax, even though, you know, a lot of, the, for most things that I order within America, there usually are shipping charges. The, sorry, this is a really big box. I only showed like a portion of it to begin with. And the other one that I'll show later, I believe the price was $388 or $359. So yeah, they're not for everyone. So seeing them in this video might be <laughs> the best alternative to people who aren't willing to shell out all that cash. But they are very nice. Um, the big one has a little flaw in it that I'll point out because in case this isn't obvious, I'm, I bought these. This isn't an endorsed video or anything like that, obviously. No sponsorship, so it's just me giving my honest opinion. <laughs> Maybe I should have done this part first. <laughs> the, for the bigger box, it wasn't this hard to get this part of the opening done. Okay, so there's a box within a box, which is good because everything inside is made of acrylic. So it's to show you how well protected it is during the trip. More boxes upon boxes. Oh, some bad noise. Hopefully my microphone doesn't deafen everyone. Okay. So I'm going to try to organize this a little bit to show you it. Any of you out there who are curious or interested in buying one, you'll know what you're going to deal with when you get it. Okay, I think the worst part's over. And because I used the bigger one to practice before doing this on camera for the first time, that means the harder part is over because it was really big and I wouldn't have been able to do it in this little space or on camera for sure. And one thing I learned the hard way, okay, so this is the acrylic base, or not acrylic. It's just a hard plastic base, shiny plastic. And what I learned the hard way is you have to have it displayed. This is getting really awkward, but you have to have it displayed on a flat surface because it's not, oh, this one's more solid. Okay, so the bigger one, it's not solid underneath. It's almost like there's a rim. And then I'm wondering if it's missing a piece now because this has like, a plate to make it all level. My other one didn't have that. So 
have these parts over with. I know I'm going to have to remove these for later, so let me do it now. And I think for the most part, you can just see what I'm doing rather than me having to narrate, because I wanted to answer a question that I've been asked quite a few times in the comments, and it's kind of a long story, so I didn't want to type it all out, and now I can just say it while I'm doing this, is people wonder how long I've been collecting American Girl. And it's not really like a straight up answer because as I've briefly mentioned in other videos, I first got introduced into American Girl through Courtney's collection, which I think would have been in around summer, early fall of only 2021. So it wasn't that long ago. Okay, I have to take a break from the story because I'm putting, t the doll has to go in first before you build it and I don't think she's gonna fit. I, the reason I chose her, uh, like a good idea was to choose her is because Oh, you know what? It might be a good fit. Because she's got a very puffy dress. And I can finesse it after off camera, but I just want to have her in here while I build and talk. <laughs> um, so what I was saying about starting collecting, it was kind of like a, a slow burn because at first I told myself, um, it, I just got into... Courtney's pieces, and I pretty much got everything as I saw it as I was collecting it for another 18 inch doll line. So I was buying like her furniture, being her, her bed set, her packing set, the fitness TV, and her clothes. And I was just dressing up other dolls in them because I know I'm not the only American girl collector who feels this way, but I didn't love the dolls at first. Um, it's probably scandalous to say that now that I have so many, but there was a time where they had to grow on me because I didn't know of them as a girl when I was younger. I didn't know them growing up. So I started with Courtney's collection in, let's say, September, October of 2021. And it wasn't until almost a full year later that I saw Claudie and fell in love with her as a, like the doll and I wanted everything, but I put her in my Tiana collection because I associated with her, her with Tiana. So my Courtney collection was displayed over here and I had other dolls all around my living room because I've collected many of things. I had Rainbow High over here, um, Interior Toys over here, and my Chucky collection over here. And I'm gonna take a little break just to explain to you that when you take these off, the static electricity is wild. It's like, so I, when I made the bigger one, because all my this she has her hair up, so it won't be such a big deal. But when I put it in my the dolls in the other case, their hair immediately went. Whoosh. <laughs> it took about a week or two for it to calm down. So you might see her dress fly up, but hopefully not. So these oh you know what I forgot to put on the gloves because I'm talking. So back to what I was saying is um, I originally was not collecting. American Girl. I just had a few pieces that I was allowing myself to have because I had so much going on in my collection and my different collections already. Sorry, and you can see that these two, you'll see how they fit in based on the size of the, oh, I guess they're the same. The other one, it was the bigger one. It wasn't as, they weren't all the same. So you had to like put the specific ones where they belong. So I'm telling too much. And one thing I find funny about my collection, like my collecting with American Girl, is that the first friend I made on YouTube after starting this channel, her handle is AG Takes Over, Christy. And that's exactly what I feel about American Girl, was I didn't collect them. They just so, like slowly started to take over. Because it was probably last summer, so like summer of like late spring, early summer of 2023, I remember going to a local, somebody who also collects, she was selling doll her some of her stuff that I was buying from. And I went to her and I was like, oh yeah, yeah, no, I've, I've, I've bought a few. I'm pretty much done now. Like, I have almost 30 and that's all I need. And she was like, 30, huh? That's how it starts. You'll have 100 before you know it. And currently my doll count is up to uh, 90. I think it's exactly 90 right now. If I include everyone who's on the way so 
Yep, that's what happens. They really do take over, so it is funny that that's her handle. I think I'm putting these on wrong. <laughs> I'm not paying attention, I'm just talking. Um, let's see, based on the... Weird. Okay, so maybe it wasn't a good idea to, idea to talk. I can't multitask. This is weird. They're all the same. So if you buy this, you probably don't want to talk while you're doing it. Um, so they're all the same pieces, so I just have to figure out how it fits into place. So yeah, I'm up to, at this point in collecting them, I don't have a limit. As far as numbers go, I won't tell myself anymore that I'm done at this or I'm done at that point. But <laughs> do these not line up? Are they all the exact same? You know what? There are instructions in here. Let me pause for one minute and get sorted because <laughs> I'll have to splice these videos together. So sorry about that. One second. <laughs> So you want to know something funny? I think they sent me four of the same pieces and they don't interlock. I think I'm supposed to get two pieces of this shape where the bottoms, one would be in like uh, inverted and the other would be sticking out so that they could interlock with each other, but they can't. So I'm gonna have to contact the company and ask them if this is correct because on my bigger case, they do interlock correctly. And there are different sizes on the, the, because it's a rectangle rather than a square. So I actually think they sent me four of the same pieces instead of two different pairs, like what you would call male and female, even though that's maybe we need better language for that. But yeah, they don't interlock. They're the exact same. So I can't finish this. Well, I will come back and finish it if it turns out I'm incorrect. But I've tried everything off camera and I cannot get them to fit. And logistically, this doesn't make sense. So um, <laughs> that was a weird failure and like bad promotion for brick case, but they will correct it because it says so on their website. So I will continue with the other two pieces I wanted to do. And if I'm wrong, I'll correct myself. But anyway, that was weird. Anyway, so in my last video, <laughs> moving on to brighter things, I opened some dolls and I was showing another doll in wigs and I put up a poll in my community post for Evan to say if, to ask if people preferred her with a side part or a middle part and because I was kind of torn I like a middle part generally speaking but I also like the side part on her and the middle part like thankfully won so here's Evan in her final form with her hair parted down the middle I you know put her on with the bandana I finished trimming her hair and the wig, it's nothing I can do. I might have to boil, straighten it, but the ends curl in toward each other and it looks a little funny. It makes it look like it needs a little bit more of a trim. And so I'll either learn to live with this or I'll fix it over time. But anyway, I think she looks perfect with this middle part of the wig and the bandana over it. So there she is, final form. And I also opened an anniversary Addy who, and I bought the birthday, the birthday and the birthday snood or the snood with her, but she didn't have factory hair. So I was, I said, I was going to like fix up her hair and show her at a later video, but I could not get her back. I couldn't get her hair styled in a way that suited the snood. It would like stick out in all kinds of weird ways. So I decided to put her in her Christmas outfit and just throughout the year, I'll pretend it's not necessarily Christmas. <laughs> and one day I'm going to look for a, an Addy, maybe an anniversary Addy with factory hair so that she, because I can't, I'm not that good with hair. I'll experiment with her hair, give her a little, give her different styles maybe in the future. But for now, this is what I've settled on. So this is, at, these were anniversary Addy and my Evan doll in their final form. And I guess that's going to have to make up for the failure of this <laughs> bookcase. And I'll still go ahead and show the other bookcase in its final form, but I'll do it off camera because uh, I need to turn off all the lights in here. I, I put the lights on so that you can see what I'm doing, but it looked really terrible when I tried to show it in my doll room tour video. So I'll go off camera and show you a better tour of that to make up for this little failure. But who knows, maybe I'm just, there's something wrong with my eyes and I can't, my brain doesn't work, but it doesn't suit 
The instructions aren't even for this size, so I can't follow them anyway. Let me show you the big brick case. Okay, so as I mentioned earlier, this is the bigger American Girl display case of the two that brick case makes. This one's designed to fit up to six dolls, but it's also pretty deep, so you can go, you can put more dolls going each way. And I've put in the shoe tower, make it look more like a shopping scene, like they're all buying shoes, she's trying on shoes. Just circle around, show you all the different sides. Because last time I showed this, there was so much glare, you probably couldn't tell anything that was going on. And I had so many shoes that I was like, okay, what's a good way to display them? Because I don't think I have enough dolls to wear all these shoes I have. And I have some really nice ones <laughs> to display. And the problem I was having in the last video is these pieces are supposed to interlock. Like, you know, one piece goes in, one comes out, they click like a puzzle. But all four pieces were the exact same, so they must have sent me the wrong one is really disappointing because now I'm going to have to have the replacement pieces shipped all the way to Buffalo to go pick them up because that's what I have on my order. But in the meantime, at least I can show the display case that worked out. And the other good thing about keeping the, the white gloves they come with on hand is I can just use them as a little duster. So every like day or two, I just go around and <laughs> brush it off. But I'm noticing that some of the dust seems to be inside, which is very strange because the point of these is to block dust. But I notice that there's, I don't know if you can see it, but up here there's a little bit of a flaw where there's like some jagged edges that stick out. So it's not completely flat to close all the way. Pardon my weird white gloved hand. So for this piece, it's uh, $358. Yeah, it's steep, I know, but I'm a collector who's a little bit extra which is obvious from my other videos but yeah i like it so much i like that it looks like a complete display or a, a, like what you would see in the store when you go to american girl but with lights at the top which makes it even fancier i'm just i guess i'm disappointed because the one i ordered today wasn't correct i'm gonna have to get it fixed and it's making me think of other little flaws and something i mentioned before is it has to be on a flat surface because if it's, if the, sorry, if this hangs over, like I, it's bigger than the, the piece of furniture I have it on. And then I had to buy these shelves to make it flat because if this hangs over, it makes, it makes it warp because it's not completely inside. There's just like a rim and then a hollowness. So these were, because it was warping, like bending, these were sticking up and then it was very, it would have been an even easier for the dust to get in, which looks like it's already kind of happening. But that could be because of the little flaw I mentioned. There's no flaw over here. And I, and I guess it's okay. So anyway, this is just me giving my honest opinion of something I paid a lot of money for. And it's still very pretty. So this ended up being a lot longer of a rant or a ramble than I wanted. I was expecting to be excited when I was taking this video, but... Okay, it's me circling back around to end on a good note of looking at how cute the dolls are. So if you watch this, I'm sorry for both of us. Bye.